about five important points of the active or forward phase of one of the most important strokes that differentiates Chinese players from the rest of the world of high-level table tennis, the forehand topspin. The anticipation that Chinese table tennis players make allows you to make adjustments that only with time can be done, here are five important points that should be taken into account, 1. They place the opposite foot to the hand with the racket as the axis of rotation, the left feet of the right. This not only makes them able to rotate from right to left, complying with the biomechanical principle of partial impulse coordination, it also lengthens the rotation lever, therefore, having greater distance, increases the linear speed of action, greater moment of inertia, which that generates speeds above the world average which is 100 km per hour, it is reached in players like Fan Zhendong and Zhan Jiking from 38 to 40 km per hour. Second. They place the axis of the shoulders completely perpendicular to the table, forming 90 degrees between the table and the shoulders. Due to the knowledge of the biomechanics of movement and the science applied to sport, the Chinese training system determines that the forehand topspin is a rotational blow, which must be performed in the transverse plane viewed from above, therefore, it works with trigonometry. Applied, making use of the morphofunctional characteristics of the human body, using the optimum in each position to guarantee greater and better results, placing the shoulders perpendicular to the table, not only moving the racket away from the point of impact, increasing the acceleration distance of the blow complying with the principle of the optimal course of acceleration, which states that any body movement with which it is intended to achieve a high final speed must take advantage of the optimal length of the acceleration path which will depend on the magnitude of the braking impulse in relation to the acceleration impulse, also guarantees an optimal angular velocity in the action for each teeny this is a table that hits. Third executor upper limb or racket hand must be extended with an angle close to 180 degrees and close to the trunk segment. The amplitude of the lever or radius of action for the blow, in this case looking for a tangential linear velocity, which is the natural combination of the human being, rotations in the segments, to result in translations or linear movements as a final result, is achieved through the maximum possible extension of the upper leg with the racket, thus complying with one of the statements of the principle of optimal acceleration trajectory that explains that in a body movement with which a high final speed must be achieved, the optimal length of the acceleration path. The path must be straight or uniformly curvilinear and not wavy and close to the body to guarantee the optimal angular velocity of each table tennis player due to its morphofunctional characteristics. Fourth point the trunk at the moment of initiating the forward movement is completely straight about 90 degrees with the horizontal. Like any rotational movement, the more vertical the axis of rotation is, the more rotation it will have, in this case of the forehand topspin, the axis of rotation of the body is at the level of the upper body because it has more accumulated mass, approximately 50%. Of the total weight of the body, it means that where the upper body moves, the center of gravity of the body moves, then, the trunk seen as an axis of rotation must be the most aligned with the vertical to guarantee the highest angular velocity dot thus complying with the biomechanical principle of partial impulse coordination. The fifth point is the rotation about the axis of the hips. This forehand topspin blow is found within the closed kinetic chain movements, which are conceptualized as movements where the distal and proximal part are fixed, or at least, must overcome a significant load. Therefore, by having the distal and proximal end fixed, the movement of a joint requires the intervention of other joints in the kinetic chain, so that both ends, distal and proximal, receive torque at the same time. Motivated by this, an axis of rotation must be sought that adds the free limb, in this case to the hand with the racket, when placing the pivot on the left foot in Schnoe's table tennis players, they make the left hip look like initial rotation axis, to add to the movement of the blow, that also makes the radius greater, but for this the movements must be synchronized, so that each segment involved reaches its maximum angular velocity at the same time, as established by the coordination of parasile impulses. Thank you very much for viewing your channel, do not forget to subscribe and give the bell to see the videos that we are placing, blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ.